really can't stay. This baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. This baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been I'm hoping you might drop so in. very nice. I'll hold your hand and just my mother will start to worry. Beautiful, what's your hurry? Father will be pacing the floor. Listen to the fireplace roar. So really, I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Maybe just a half a drink more. Put some records on while I pour. On this episode of Tri Vibe TV, you're going to hear from our director of programming, Kyle Sutton. You get to hear from me to talk a little bit about weight belts. Then finally, hear from our president, Jim Caval. He's going to connect us with our newest ITF gym communities. Hey, everybody, this is Kyle Sutton, director of programming, coming to you from snowy Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, Christmas and New Year's are fast approaching and we have some new programming ideas that we're excited to launch to you guys in 2015. And a huge part of our programming experience is the strength program. So in the last uh, few episodes of Tribe Vibe TV, we got to meet a lot of the members of the general programming committee who write the daily workouts. Uh, but we'd be remiss if we didn't uh, introduce you guys to the strength programming committee, which includes Zachariah Townsend, lead coach at ITF 150, Josh Bateman, lead coach at ITF Downtown, and Peggy Borland, lead coach at ITF 280. Uh, so over the next few episodes of Tribe Vibe TV, we're going to get into their heads, see what makes them tick, uh, what kind of workouts they like to do, and what they like about being a part of the programming team. As we go into this holiday season, I want to remind you guys that this is the toughest time of the year to get those workouts in and stay on track with nutrition. So do your best over the next month. So uh, January is a good start for you. And uh, enjoy the holidays, everyone. Stay safe. And until next time, Merry Christmas. What's up tribe, it's Lewin, and today's video we get to talk all about weight builds. I've been getting lots of great questions about them, so just want to answer some of those questions for you. The main thing that you want you to know is that they are for added support for your heavier lifts. They're, whenever you use them right, they're going to increase that inter-abdominal pressure built within your abs and your core to allow you to maintain core stability under heavy loads. Alright, so a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind is what do they not do? Number one is they do not fix bad form. So if you have improper movement patterns, the weight belt is not the fix. Got to fix that form first. Another thing they are not for is they are not designed for any kind of substitution of core work that you already should be doing. So all the plank holds that we've been programming for you, all the deadlifts, any kind of overhead press, those are great movements to build the strength in your core, but don't think that you can skip out on those movements just because you've got a weight belt. So for athletes new to the program, definitely take time to work on your core stability and form and technique while developing your core strength. You'll find that as you get stronger as an athlete and you start playing with intermediate and more advanced level weights and program divisions, then that's when the weight belt will really become a great tool for you. So now let's talk about how to actually put it on because often I'll see athletes wearing the belt and it's not always worn correctly. So let's talk about that. Uh, first thing I want you to do is take your belt, undo it, and I like to pull from my right to my left. So I'm going to put my buckle on the right side, just thread it through. I want to get it, you don't want to have it too low where it's hitting your hip bones, it's not squeezing in enough and obviously you don't want to have it too high. So right here, that's why I have a shorter torso and I really enjoy this four inch belt here. Once I've got my belt lined up right in the middle, I'm going to take a big deep breath in, bring in um, my waistline and compress it in. From there, 
my job's not through because I'm gonna fill in lungs, air into my lungs, and straight down press into my core, okay? So that's the whole idea of the belt, is for you to fill in air and then push out against the belt, creating that intra-abdominal pressure that you want. That built up pressure will allow for that spine to work off and stay as sturdy as possible. So keep in mind guys, you don't wanna have it too tight where you can't breathe and pass out, but then again, wearing it too loose and it's not doing you any good. Well Tribe, that's a wrap. I hope this video provides you just a little bit more context the next time you're under heavy loads and you reach for that weight belt. We began franchising Iron Tribe Fitness in 2012 and here we are just a couple years later with more than 30 gyms now open throughout the country. And we're proud to announce more recent openings, starting with Kansas City as Iron Tribe Leewood opened in November. And then the same owners in the Kansas City market also opened one up in Louisville, Kentucky, Iron Tribe Fitness Northeast. Iron Tribe Coral Gables in South Florida, just outside of Miami, opened in early December as well. We're proud about this, but for you, what does this mean? Well, the more you travel, the more Iron Tribes you're gonna see, which means you can get your workout on on the road. All you have to do is visit the Iron Tribe app on your iPhone, visit locations, search for locations. You can see a map of all the locations around the country or just do it on the website, irontribefitness.com. And once again, we are proud to announce these openings as we get closer to number 40 every day. We hope that you have that many more options when you travel so that you can continue doing your Iron Tribe workouts on the road.